Item. SCP-621. Object Class. Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. All instances of SCP-621 are to be kept in the Site-16 greenhouse and watered regularly. Seeds and pollen from SCP-621 are not to be released into the wild. No instances of SCP-621 are to be released for commercial trade, given as gifts, used as props, used as bribes, or stored in personnel offices. Personnel are advised to not look at SCP-621 for extended periods of time. Description. SCP-621 is a series of highly invasive flowering plants, originally released by an flower shop, that have been in the Foundation's possession as of zero. These plants, mainly the plant species Didius tulips, Tulipa jasneriana, are naturally bioluminescent, powered by water and other nutrients. These plants glow a variety of colors, though most instances glow purple, blue, or green. This bioluminescent effect can be best seen at night or in a dark area. The effect is only active while the plants are alive. SCP-621, particularly its glow, seems to have a hypnotizing effect on humans, with numerous requests by personnel to store them in their personal offices, all of which have been denied. SCP-621 has varying effects on other animals. When exposed to bees, hummingbirds, or cross-pollinating animals, all of the animals subjected have preferred spreading the pollen of SCP-621 as opposed to other flowering plants, and due to its bioluminescence, are capable of doing this at night, increasing its rate of reproduction. However, when exposed to herbivores, such as deer or rabbits, all of subjected animals have actively avoided SCP-621. With a high fertility rate, a natural defense against predators, and a hypnotizing effect on humans, SCP-621 can be deemed a highly effective invasive species.